The tyranny of the bourgeoisie oligarchs must end, if not by ballot, then by bullet. We must dismantle the establishment board by board, wrestling the steering wheel of society away from the privileged, the wealthy, the white, the beautiful, and into the hands of the colorful, loving, charmingly homely proletarians. Viva la! Oh my god! Are you? Are you? Penny Galtro, actress, philanthropist, 2004 sexiest woman over 5'9". <gasps> Don't forget to add hashtag workers of the world unite and hashtag Yves Saint Laurent. The student shows aren't piquing your interest? No, 80s pastiche is a little passé. Right? 2011 was God, at least three years ago. <laughs> Come on, Donnie, they could really use your help. Hell no. Well, at least not weirder things. <laughs> Subtle. Oh, it's almost 10, Zach. Can't be late for... Film 304, Newsboy Hat Maintenance. <laughs> I'll beat you there. Uh... Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. I need some Tinder advice. What the hell is a Tinder? Are you kidding? It's a dating app, see? Have you seriously never seen this before? What the hell do I need a hookup app for? I'm Donnie Jepp. I had sex on the way here. You did not. In the Uber pool, right? Well, not all of us can be so lucky. I mean, look at these guys. White guy with black emojis. Anime profile picture. Radical centrist. Is this my fate? Look, they can't all be me. Speaking of settling for less, what about Zach? Oh, yeah, no. Zach is seriously weird. He slid into my Instagram DMs with a meme about the difference between art, films, and Kino. Look, move in was weird. Besides, it always takes a few weeks for the dynamics to settle in. Parks and Rec suck for a whole season. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I guess I could give him a shot. I mean, I have always found actors attractive. No, Bonnie Law came out when I was three. You're old enough to be my dad. Yes, one, two, one, two. It's a ZAQ, and I'm the second best actor that lives in this room. When Zach reacts to a line, director's quick with the zoom. With these celebs at my school, I call it Hollywood. You, you need a better hobby, man. Actually, I don't care. Uh, you remember a friend from earlier? Attractive, impeccable eyebrows, the island of understatement amidst a sea of cartoonish hams like yourself. Pointy elbows? Yeah, you met her earlier. Her name's Allison, and I got you a date with her at that breakfast smoothie place, huh? You're amazing, Donnie. I, I didn't even think she liked me. Well, she didn't, but I talked you up, so you better churn the butter, know what I mean? Oh, you bet I will. I mean, wow. Not only are you the greatest actor ever, you're the greatest roommate ever, second week living with you, and you set me up on the first date of my life. Your first date? Yeah, well, well you know, I was homeschooled until I was 17. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Uh, the only reason she agreed to go out with you is because I told her you were something of a consummate gentleman. Huh? He's the King Kong of Sling and Dog. Oh shit, Donnie, why would you say that? I was trying to talk you up, man. <sighs> Don Donnie, you have to teach me. I... Listen, bud, what I have, you can't teach, but I know who to send you to. Hey, I was gonna sit there, bro. Hey, it's the first day of class, bro. Whoa, aren't you Penny Galtro's roommate? How do you know that? Uh, you know, I keep up with the snap stories. I'm Mark Wallenberg. Yeah, I know who you are. How did you get in here? I thought that the university lowered the hate criminal quota. 
Oh, yeah, well, a spot opened up when Mel Gibson transferred to Baylor, you know, more of a cultural fit, right? Right. Yeah, and besides, you know, that whole racially motivated violence thing, that ain't me. That's the old mark, all right? Now I just make dumb faces and bad movies, and, you know, hey, between you and me, that wasn't my real dick in Bangkok nights, but, like, it could have been, you know what I mean? Whatever. All right, hey, you know, by the way, what class is this, even? Well, I'm not sure. On the listing, it just says Bio 304P, Introduction to the Study of PH, and then it cuts off. Weird. Hello, class. I am Professor Hatchback, and this is Bio 304P, the study of phylogeny. Now, what is phylogeny? It is nothing less than the study of phylogenetics. And phylogenetics is the study of the phylogenetic tree. Now, the phylogenetic tree is not a normal tree, like a, an oak tree, or a juniper tree, or perhaps a cypress. Well, if it isn't Mr. Zachary Daggery, how are you, sweetheart? Not so great, Penny. Oh, debilitatingly insecure about your likely sexual inadequacy with my roommate? How could you tell? <laughs> I'm an actress, sweetheart. Human emotion is my business. Wow, your mastery of the craft is astounding. I'm just winking your hood. Donnie told me you were on your way over. Come on, I've been waiting. Now, Donnie told me you're not the most experienced dater, but that's okay. Not many people are at your age. Now, Donnie also told me that you've never had sex before, but surely you've made it to first down, no? You're from Austin, right? Born and raised. <laughs> That's great news, Zach. That means you've given some lucky classmate a rainy street rainbow roll at some point. No. Oh, what about a riverside rose bush? Well, that's all right. Um, you have kissed someone, at least. Oh, sweetie. What time is your date? 8.30. All right, so we don't have time for me to teach you everything, so we'll skip to the holy grail of sexual secrets. But now, before I impart my wisdom unto you, I have to ask, are you okay with this? Because if you're uncomfortable, no one's gonna judge you for not having sex. No, 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 I I'm ready. That's great news, Zach. I'm so glad you stated that so clearly, because if you hadn't, the exchange we're about to have would be très problematique. I'm, I'm an adult. Everything's cool. Glad mm -hmm. to hear it. Mm -hmm. Now, are you ready to learn the secrets of the milk crack? And finally, halophiles. And now that we've explained what phylogeny is, Perhaps it is time to discuss what phylogeny is not. Next week. OMG, Mark, I like totally need your help. Why? What happened to your voice? I got laryngitis from a pie fi Ew. Anyway, Penny Galtro, you know her. Yeah, brilliant bro's wife. Yeah, what up? Well, ever since the whole TMI incident with the whole Jennifer Love Hewitt scandal- And the salad dressing? I thought it was barbecue sauce. <sighs> Whatever. They won't listen to my tips anymore, so I need your Woody Wiggler clout to get my Crocs through the door. Okay, what for? She's a communist. Okay. A communist? I mean, my roommate's a comm major. He's an all right guy overall. I mean, he keeps trying to get me on his podcast. No, no, but... no, a communist. You know, like East Germany, the Soviet Union, China? China? Well, I guess I'd actually characterize them more as a state capitalist, but OMG, yes, China totally RCP yes to the commie party. And Vietnam and North Korea. No. Oh no, no. I know, right? I was wrong about Penny. We're gonna stop her? We're shutting it all down, bro. No. Welcome to Intermediate Milk Crack Studies. Turn to page 74 of your textbook. If you have the 6th edition, turn instead to page 83. If you look closely at a woman's 
I've taught you everything you need to know. Employ the skills you've learned today and you'll be set for life. It's time, Zach. Good luck. Thanks, Penny. I'll return the favor one day. Wait, one last thing. Yeah? Shouldn't I practice at least once? Pandora! You're an AIM user? Penny Gautreau is a fugly slut 97? Come on. I thought we told you to get lost after the honey mustard affair. You lying things. I did not lie. I just got the content wrong. Please. You cost TMI millions in slander settlements. Everyone knows Big Mustard has the best lawyers. Wait. Mark Wongberg? Trust me, bro. We got the scoop. You got the scoop? Marcus E. Marcus. It's beautiful. Penny Galtra won't know what hit her. We have our own little red scare here. By the looks of things, it hasn't taken long for the toxic, PC, liberal culture of the University of Austin to infect Penny Galtro. Once real America's sweetheart, Miss Galtro can be seen here smiling next to the leader of the Campus Communist Coalition. Further proof that the leftist agenda is as poisonous as ever. Penny Galtro, more like Penny Snowflake. Oh, Donnie, what am I going to do? I can't be labeled a communist. This is how my mother's career ended. Look, just use your playgirl image to your advantage here. Just say you didn't know the kid, and then tell everyone you pray to an effigy of Ronald Reagan every night, like a good American. I don't know, Donnie. The only reason I'm even in college is so I can get back in the Actors Guild and save my career. What career? OK, a fair point. But still, I'm a socialist now. They're going to DNC me. Wait, what did you just say? It's a joke. Yeah, but how do you know that joke? Where'd you get that from? I voted for Jill Stein. <laughs> you actually are a socialist! Okay, but not to the public. No, 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 no. This is, this is good, actually. You've needed a rebrand for a while now. Isn't it time you appeal to a younger crowd? What do you know about a younger crowd? You're 54. I've seen like six copies of Capital and Sorority Girls Nightstands. But it's more like an animal farm, if you know what I mean. Miss Galtro! <laughs> How long have you been a communist? The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. <laughs> wow. You heard it on TMI, busybodies. But before I let you go, can I have another sound bite, Penny? Maybe something a little snappier? Property is theft, bitches. I knew she was a dirty hippie. Ugh. Why does she always win? I'm sorry, I derailed our date to help Penny out. I said, it's okay, Zach. You were just being a good friend. Yeah, I definitely owe her for earlier. What What did she do for you again? Uh, do, do you know what a milk crack is? No. Uh, n uh, nothing, then. Never mind. I, I don't want to rush things. We, we should just get to know each other, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what are your hobbies? Well, I like to produce music. Mmm, that's awesome. You gotta show me some of your songs. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, this is one that I made with Donnie and this local rapper named Lil Side Effect. Wait, you make hip-hop beats? Yeah. I love rapping. I'm like at least top three out of the Cypher Club in the communal showers <laughs> on my floor. Well, maybe we'll have to do something together sometime. I like the sound of that. Hollywood, you, ooh, what do we do? Is a double L I in the Z A Q and back to the dome for a new year of school. But ooh, there's a twist. Have you heard the news? Ooh, ooh, Hollywood, you, you, 